Howdy folks, Kevin here. Sorry it's been a few days. Had events going on, had all kinds of stuff going on. Had a rendezvous last week, I already told you all, all this. So it's not news to any of y'all. Uh, then we had some big storms roll through the area. Uh, Sunday night late th th through into Monday. And uh, I've been all day yesterday without power. Uh, I think it was total about 19 hours. Although I did enjoy watching everybody lose their minds because they have they were without power for a little while. Uh, oh my God! Does anybody know when the power's going to be back on? My power's been out for 14 hours now. What do we do? So, well, mine ended up to being out for a total of about 21 hours. I guess it was. I'm sorry. This is a Henry Clay cheroot, and this is Angel's Envy. That's what I'm doing today. Uh, anyhow, my power ended up being out for 20, 21 hours, something like that. Uh, me and the wife just ended up going out in the yard, and uh, I cooked out of the back of my van, made coffee out of the back of my van. The wife laid up in the van and relaxed. Put my Star Lake internet out, so I had internet. Uh... So I could enjoy the show. Everybody panicking. Uh, I don't know. I heard there's a couple tornadoes went through the area. I don't know. Uh, out at my place, uh, it was just basically power out. We had uh, just up the road, we had four or five power poles snapped off. And uh, so basically, I went from about 10.30 uh, Sunday night until uh, about 8 o'clock or so. Without power. No harm, no foul. No biggie. That was about it. I hope you all fared the storms if they were in your area. Well, uh, that's about time to take that rendezvous button off, huh? Rendezvous up been over two days. Anyhow, uh, we did the same thing at the rendezvous, me and the wife. It rained on uh, uh, Sunday morning while we were there. And uh, I just grabbed two helicon ponchos out of my van, and me and the wife wore those around, and she brought an umbrella with her. Uh, so we went around to the food booths and got breakfast and things like that, and uh, found a picnic table. Nobody was sitting out there at the picnic tables because they were in the open and it was raining. Uh, so we're sitting there in our helicon ponchos and we, I, I, I tied the, the umbrella down. So it was, uh, so it was a little rain roof over our food, over our food. It was actually kind of nice. Mm. Uh, so don't let, don't let adversity get you down, folks. Don't worry about this stuff and don't panic. All right. What I want to talk about today is yet another reason not to go to California. Mm. Uh, I was looking online, and I see that California has has raised the minimum wage only for fast food workers, though, uh, to twenty dollars an hour. Uh, so basically, you're gonna have two choices: uh, your Big Mac is gonna cost twenty five dollars, or that's an exaggeration. It'll probably it'll probably be about eleven dollars, uh, if I was guessing. Um, or they're gonna hire less workers. So who's there is going to make more money, but there's going to be a heck of a lot more jobs open. And, uh, hey, the uh, robots that, that do your ordering out in front, the touchscreen robot -y things, uh, they're going to get a lot more jobs because they don't pay those. They don't pay them. Uh, I was watching them talk about what a victory this is for fast food workers. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. Not a victory at all. You guys are going to lose your jobs in droves. Just so you know. And at 20 bucks an hour, you better never at, ask for a tip. Never. Because uh, you're making what a lot of skilled labor is. And uh, the height of your skill is dropping is dropping frozen fly, fries into oil and not getting burned. So everything is just done step by step by step. 
Uh, I drop a Big Mac on the little conveyor belt or a patty on the conveyor belt. It takes so much time to get from one end to drop it on a bun. Uh, you're not cooking. You're not doing any of those things. Uh, the machines are doing it for y'all. And now you are actually opening up jobs for more machines. So, you know, uh, when I was in Japan, they had they had a couple of places over there where it was basically an automated restaurant. Uh, you ordered what you wanted, and it it kind of went around, went through in conveyor belts and did what it was supposed to do, and it was all automated, you know, like a like 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 a big vending machine, but big room size thing, where you could actually watch it all happen, you know. And uh, California, you're next online for no jobs instead of jobs that don't pay as much as you want them to. So if you think uh, so, if you think it was bad making $15 an hour, which is what you were making before. Uh, number one, people aren't going to be able to afford your food or the, or the businesses aren't going to be afford to have going to, going to be able to afford to have enough people to take the uh, load off the few people that are going to get hired. And definitely don't ask for a tip. One more reason not to go to California. <sighs> We've been in the news a lot, lot, lot lately. Uh, I was reading online about a lady who got charged seven thousand dollars for a subway sandwich, and uh, she actually thinks that it may have been her error uh, because she was typing in her little rewards number and she thought that she might have actually typed part of that onto the tip screen. But uh, she supposedly went to the restaurant and the, and, and the manager said, "Out of luck." And the credit card company said, yeah, good luck. So it's one of those, apparently, if you make a mistake, it's on you. If they make a mistake, it's still on you. So, another reason not to go to any kind of fast food. You know, I love fast food. Don't get me wrong. Fast food's not good for you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but there's just another reason to not go. Uh, if you accidentally get overcharged, they're not going to make it right. And folks are pricing themselves right out of a job. Well, I guess that's really all I got today. So hope to see y'all in the woods. Uh, I'm pretty much free this week of events and classes and things like that. Uh, I got some things to get need to get cleaned up after the storm. Uh, gotta get some mowing done. I can't find my house anymore. Uh, but I should have some time to make some videos this week. Talk to y'all later. See you in the woods.